just want to mention this. If I was a single bachelor, I would not still be in Illinois. I would have moved a long time ago to perhaps New Hampshire or maybe I'd be kite surfing every weekend in Corpus Christi, Texas, or maybe I would have moved to Chile or Mauritius or New Zealand. You know, there, there's a lot of better places for me to be <laughs> from a freedom perspective. But I am in this situation where I have a family that I want to keep together because I love my family. And I know there's a lot of freedom lovers out there like this that are dealing with similar challenges where, and, and it really is challenging when uh, not everyone in your family shares your passions for freedom, unschooling, you know, things of this nature. And that's why I do recommend, if you haven't had kids yet, to find someone who really matches you on your love of freedom, who also shares a desire to increase freedom for your family, would be excited about moving to a freer place. Someone who shares your parenting style, someone who agrees with you that there is no spanking in parenting. Uh, non-aggression principle applies. Unschooling is a much better option. And someone who's willing to be your partner in the homeschooling effort because parenting is difficult. Unschooling is even, you know, it takes more time and investment. So it really does help to have a partner who shares those values. But I myself, I have a partner that doesn't share all those values. And it's cool. It's fine with me. Um, I just think it'd be easier <laughs> if it wasn't that way. But it was a big feat to get my wife to leave the city. And it's not like I forced her to. I really did convince her that she would be happier in the suburb. Um, <clears throat> it's a situation in which I have to take steps. I can't take one big leap to New Hampshire or Texas or uh, another country like Chile. I really had, had to do it in steps. So <clears throat> my first stepping stone was to move to the suburbs to show her that, hey, our life can be awesome. It's, we don't have to be in a big, you know, statist town. And the next stage is basically I need to achieve a more consistent income, ideally a passive stream of income that is consistent and reliable. Uh, I have a, a home-based business and my income has been up and down like a roller coaster since 1999. And because of that, my wife is not willing to cut the cord and let go of her job. So to convince, to, uh, to make her happy to do that, I have to come up with a more consistent stream of income. And that's the next step. And then once that's achieved, I know that, I mean, we've talked about this. She would be glad to move to a number of places that would, I would be very excited about moving to, including those that I already mentioned. So I am at my destination now. Why don't I pause it here and I'll pick it back up in a second. Okay, so I believe I was talking about how I'm taking steps, not moving to my final destination in one leap, but uh, because I have a, a wife and a, who I really care about and a family I want to keep together, I'm taking steps in order to make everyone feel comfortable moving to where we ultimately want to go. 